What's going on, Zim Taylor? Yeah, it is Dre. And we're going to talk about movies. Movie time. Movies. Movie time. Movies. Oh, actually, two movies, really. Um, two movies that <laughs> recently in the news came out. So let's just talk about this. Let's just, just give 10 let's minutes of that. Let's just get it out there. Get it out there. Say this. Whip give our thoughts. Right now. Give our thoughts. Okay, so. Show um, mind, I'll show you yours. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that, too. <laughs> That's part of the video. We'll see at the end. We'll see ours. <laughs> so <laughs> first, let's talk about something really quick. Um, Breaking Bad was a big show. Awesome show. Has spun off into Better Call Saul. Great characters. Great story. Great everything. Um, one of the great shows that knew when to end and went before it got too stale, which is good because I always see, I always like to see a show that begins and ends because it means that it not enough play where it just it ended at a good spot and closed all. Yeah, all, uh, eight ties seasons up. is too many seasons for any show, even shows you like. It's eight seasons. They're, they're kind of five arc season arc is where you should end every show. Five, five. as per Dre. There you go, Dre's Dre's tips. Five arcs, and that's it. The Simpsons has been around for 27 seasons, something like that. It's on borrowed time. They we all know that. Sh- they should have ended at like 14. I- I'm surprised it still comes on. So yeah. But so Breaking Bad is actually going to get a movie. So they said, okay, so details haven't come out in in fact, and like as far as the the the, the um, they can't say the fucking word. The um details per se, like the um. I, stuff. I I I vote. Here. I vote. So this is a huge bad. mistake. It's just gonna be a, a black mark on the Breaking Bad legacy. Because so if you think about it, and because there's so many details that are out right now, at every point. Limited. Is that word I was looking for. Yeah, limited. Uh, the, the details are. Help me out. I was just in the <laughs> drowning trying to find a fucking word. Yeah. Uh, sorry, but yeah. So like, so I'm right. After after you like, said, fuck you, so you drown. As he said, it was a show that knew when to end, um, and we got a conclusion. I, I thought the conclusion was kind of weak myself, but we got a conclusion. He like, died. Like, yeah. No spoilers. It's been over over years. But died. like, like there. So, I mean, taking that he died, right? There's no point to continue the story. To me. To me. Okay. So, how about this? So, the what if the movie doesn't take place after, but during? You bring back Brian Cranston. You bring back Brian Ryan Paul. What's his name? His name Paul. Aaron um, Paul. There you go. Aaron Paul. Um, that's his name. I'm, I'm pretty amazing. Yeah, I, Paul, had, I, I just job. threw something out there because you because like, you know. love that that uh, that 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 racing movie that he did based on the video game that sucked. Um, I never saw that movie. You saw that Need for Speed, right? Did, yeah, no, yeah, he didn't miss much. It wasn't that good. I know he was um, in a, he was in King's Clave. Yes, but you didn't see his face though. You hear his voice only. Yeah, which actually enjoyed. People shit on that. That's what. But anyway, yeah, people shit um, on all Final Fantasy. I yeah. I thought they were both good. King's Clave had less right. of a story, but I thought it was good. Okay, I'm sorry. Sure. Go ahead. Sorry. You brought it up. No, I didn't. I just want to cook. Okay, cook, so cook it, it takes place that. when? When we did so breaking, breaking Bad. Time. Um, so Breaking Bad, actually, I would say it takes place mid-season. Like, there has to be a point where... Now, and this, it's not going to be a... It's, it's, it'll be a two-hour a two, okay, two movie. So this will be just a... Like, a day or two, I think. I think we're getting, like, a, a couple days of story here. Like, something happened either with... Um, not Taco. It's fucking the guy that um, <laughs> Tico Pico, the, the guy that was in the beginning, that he's the first villain. He, the the first guy he went up against. It's Tico. Is it Tico? Yeah, that's right. Wow. And I'm gonna uh, we push that. You know, I can't remember that's many many years ago. <laughs> so I think they're gonna go through and um, maybe something like that. It's a small a small sometimes a small villain that was that was there. Maybe the guys the vice premises guys at the very end. They can do some more with that. But I think that they're, they're gonna bring back those uh, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul just to do. One last the story, so maybe maybe something. So and and here's my thoughts, if I because it's a Breaking Bad, right? Yeah. So everyone's gonna want Brian Cranston friends, basically. But if you're gonna do a Breaking Bad movie, to me, the only I don't say logical, but it, the only real crew you can really follow that would make for a great movie is Mike, uh, El Poderos Hermanos, um, Gus, Fried. Gus, and then um, the Mafia dude. Okay. Uh, the the one that was in mostly in the wheelchair for the the, the, the vast majority yeah. of the season, I mean to me that's the only character you can really follow to create a movie that and because he then you can bring Saul in because you know Saul kind of connects that glue between Mike, the uh, assassin dude. Yeah, you can also you also pull in people Gus's friends. You saw a little bit in Mexico. When yeah, I was gonna say those. He tried, he tried to pull. He tried to poison him. The twin or the them too. Yeah, and then the twins like that would make to me just following those characters because like those were some of the most interesting characters. Mike, Saul, Augustus, the the mafia dude, and the twins, and that whole like how the, the Mexican cartel or mafia or drug lord, whatever they had yeah. going on there, 
how that all connects to that would make a badass movie. We've already seen Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul's story. We've, we've seen the connection with his wife. But there's this whole, I mean, because I'm watching Better Saul, Call Saul right now, and um, I'm only on season two, so I haven't finished season three yet. Yeah. Um, but this, we're still getting a, how does it become from this to the Breaking Bad yeah. mafia bosses and everyone fears. So that, to me, would make a badass movie. Okay. And plus the art direction, because um, we've seen, because we know how it ends, right? And <laughs> pretty much all those people are, are getting clipped in some way, fashion. Like the, uh, the the wheelchair dude blows himself up, kills yeah. Augustus. Um, the twins get killed. You, give him, you could call him Augustus. His name's Gus. Gus. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Gus is Gloop. It Gloops. Gus. It, it's, it's been a while. It's been <laughs> a while. The, the twins, they get, they die or get hit by cars. I don't quite remember what happens to them, but they they get 86th. They die, yeah, they get 86th. Um, we know Brian Cranston is done. We know his family. Aaron Paul took off, though. Aaron Paul took Aaron off, Aaron yeah. Paul took off in the car with the money. And then uh, we know that his brother um, also gets killed. I mean, we know, like, what happens with this storyline, right? Um, but we don't know how they got to a certain point where everyone's. But I think that would make a great movie. So 100 bucks. Kickstarter, <laughs> uh, change.org. Yeah, AMC needs the money. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think that is the the best story right there. So, but what so, do you see? So, do, do you agree or disagree in that term? So, um, just before we move on, yeah, I, I just think I just think it's gonna be take. I think it's gonna be taking place during the actual, actual seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they're gonna do like a after or before. I think it's gonna be a. Oh yeah, so obviously the other one it would be like if it was like. Between like two episodes or th- between two seasons, that one might work because you can bring back technically all the cast and make for yeah. especially was it Tuco? Tuco, Tuco, yeah, because he was uh, he was always interesting and they didn't use him enough. I felt they kind of killed him all too early. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Um, next thing, uh, we this in the news here we got um Shrek. Do you like Shrek, John? Do you like Shrek, I Shrek? do like Shrek. Do you, uh, like, you like the six movies that come out about based on Shrek? There were six movies. There's like, there's more than, there's more than uh, three or four. Wait, wait, h- there's I, like I know three sh- or four than the Shrek Christmas, and there's sh- Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots is part of that Shrek thing too. And then um, the uh, universe has grown. Yeah, I I like Shrek, but it's one of those things where it's like, okay, we get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. there's not much more else. Like, because it was so because ultimately Shrek was just a parody of all the Disney and all the Shrek was actual an actual, an actual book book like an old book. No, no, no. It was a book called Shrek. No, no but I'm saying the movie, right? The yeah. Shrek universe we live in is a parody of all those grim tales and all those Disney fairy tales. So we're smashing in one, right? So we're speaking of Shrek Five, the next Shrek, another Shrek, and then works. So it's not going to be a. No, well, there is a Shrek Five already. I thought. No, I'm saying Shrek, my Shrek Five, but another Shrek in the movie. Sorry. Okay. So another Shrek. So no, no Shrek Five because Shrek Five is going to be the next one, maybe because, like I said, it's not going to be a. It's not going to be a reboot. It's going to be a continuation. But they're gonna change it up. So they they tapped they tapped um, <laughs> Chris uh, Melendandry. Ah, I don't know who that is. Melendandry. I, I can't speak his last no. name. Sorry guys. Um, the guy behind Spickle Me, the Minions, all those people. Um, so he has he has that you know behind him to give them more of a revival for Shrek. Uh, but he does want to keep the same cast. So but the, <laughs> the same cast minus Cameron Diaz. So it's gonna be Mike Myers oh, and Eddie Murphy and um, Tony I don't want to keep the same cast. Oh, you want to change up the cast? No, I just want to give one of them more purpose. Yeah, yeah, just to get rid of the camera ideas. So <laughs> the, the so yeah, so you won't see. So which means that does that uh, mean I, no I Fiona? Yeah, that means no Fiona. Like as far as maybe she maybe she'll make an appearance, but as, as of right now, the main cast that they want to stick with Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, and Tony Banderas. So that's Shrek, <laughs> Donkey, and Puss in Boots. Um, no, granted, I think they, they're making each, another Shrek and another Puss in Boots, so they may come together and spin off, or they may kind of do like, uh, well, they kind of they mix stories where two like, Puss, two Boots, two Puss, two Boots, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but so so what if what if they do like a Shrek movie and then they have like the intertwine like Puss in Boots is his stuff, and then they do a Puss in Boots movie and they and, they, and that Puss in Boots was like kind of mixing with the Shrek. They both they kind of parallel each other. I think it's and they mix in the middle. Terrible. Idea. I don't know. It's a new. It's a new Shrek. Who I, knows? I, I I enjoy Shrek, but once it got past Shrek Four, who was like uh, uh, Justin Timberlake was in it. 
Oh, as like, the as the prince. Yeah, that was yeah. like the worst one, and then they, it just went really down. There's like and is, all the kids. Is and the there kids like a one. donkey and dragon movie too, or is that just like a part like a sketch? No, oh, that's that's just that they had they had they did stuff and had yeah. kids. It just goes like it like crashingly downhill after Shrek Four. Like I, and now it's like one of those. It's one of those things where they just keep like beating it now. Like, well, what else can we squeeze out of this storyline? Yeah. Like I said, it started off as a parody of all the Disney and Grim tales, and it was funny. It was cute, and it related to so many different levels. But now you, you either have to. I I feel like it's one of those times you should let it go. It's like it's when you know Hollywood finds something like, oh, this made gold back then, so why can't it make gold now? It's like, well, because everyone's moved on. No, 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 they haven't moved on. We're just gonna reboot it, and no one's actually moved on. No, it's let it go, let it go. I mean, let, run with Despicable Me, even though you're trying to, they're already draining that for what it's worth. There's three of those in one mini movie. Yeah, but they can still. I think there's two mini movies, isn't there? Isn't there? Is there only one? Maybe there's only one. Okay, but they have that. They can like drain like a mother another year or two out of that. Why not? Why not just do that? Like, I don't know. I, I think, I think Shrek is. They, I feel like they're going, <laughs> exhuming Shrek's body from the grave, or the Shrek just beating dead horse. Lore, and then yeah, it's. Hey, I, hey, Mike Myers, why not do it? Why not take a break? Take a break on Shrek, and do the Wayne's World movie. <laughs> I miss Wayne's World. <laughs> That's yeah, so, so that is that's that's dated too at this point. I think that'd be the only that'd be okay, amazing. The good a good plot for Wayne's World would be they're trying to reboot Wayne's World in a new generation because that's and, they, be, and they become Shrek. Shrek yeah. Five is done. There you go. Because <laughs> that's spoiler it. alert. Did you did you hear the, like the 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 Kevin Smith, um, Jay and Silent Bob movie? Yeah, the reboot. Yeah, he's rebooting like Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. Well, there. So the movie is them stopping. The Hollywood for making a reboot of the original James Silent Bob movie, mm-hmm. like it's meta basically. Yeah, that's what the Nate Wayne's world needs to be. Two old guys who like look. Let's go back to this thing we used to do back in the nineties, and it's two thousand ten, and let's try to get it up and running now. And that that's would be that would be a good plot for Wayne's world because it'd be the reality too. Yeah, and it would be like them trying to get like all the old heads because like they're not f- super relevant anymore. Mm-hmm. In um, society, so yeah, I'm down for that plot of Wayne's World. Otherwise, leave it so to So, Shrek and Breaking Bad, you're you're tapped out. But new Wayne's World, yeah, you're Breaking all for Bad, it. I can see Breaking Bad working. I just don't think they could. I don't see the need for a continuation with the, same, with, the with the main two characters. Yeah, it's just like that. That story ended. We we saw that. So we saw five seasons of that story. Why why do we need an extra? Like I I want to see everyone else. Okay. Unless the whole what they do, you know, forget forget the movie. Once what's going on? Better Call Saulians. They have a new show. Or it's called I don't know Mexico or some shit, right? <laughs> Why are you looking at me for saying or, Mexico? I, I'm just saying New Mexico, where it has all those characters, in Mexico. It, and it just follows them, like Tales of Berlin, Tales in Mexico, Tales, yeah. Tales of Albuquerque, Tales of Albuquerque, and then we can follow Gus, uh, Pollos Hermanos, those the twins, the mafia boss, and then Mike, because that would be a great. Those show. are your main people. Like you, you want to stick with those people only. Well, those are the people that we. What about his son? With a, what is about his son with a disability? I, I can't imagine a show being great that that follows. He goes to a new school, <coughs> has and makes new friends. That follows Breaking Bad lore, the whole mafia. Make a little nine two one zero ish. Yeah, makes it work. And then they can have some Saul Goodman, and I. That's what I want to see: the tales of Albuquerque. Yeah. make that show happen. Our Lane is is based on the interest of both these movies and whether they're going to get made, obviously. Um, mm, so yeah. yeah, Breaking Bad, Shrek. I, I don't know. I fell off. I fell off to Shrek after the second or third movie. This is I didn't stick around to see his kids. Um, and Breaking Bad is a great show. I enjoy it. Better Call Saul, but I'm not sure what they're gonna do. If they're gonna do, if they're gonna do fan service, or they're gonna live with the backlash. I'm not having Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston come back is, is his character. <laughs> no. <in> Breaking Bad. <laughs> he doesn't come back, so he replaces him with like another dad. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like Chris, or Chris Rock or something. Oh it's yeah! Just like what the hell? <laughs> I, oh, I am Heisenberg. <laughs> so yeah, sure you are, buddy. <laughs> you goddamn right. You goddamn right. Okay. On that right. note, I guess we're done here. <laughs> much, much like the Shrek movies, we 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 should be done. We long time. we should have we should have, we should have finished twenty minutes ten, ten minutes ago. All right. So thank you for checking it out. What do you think? What do you think about the next Shrek movie? Are you still a fan of Shrek? Where they should keep making them? Or are you are you like am I? Uh, Sourpuss. Uh, Sourpuss and Boots. And, and what about you think the Breaking Bad movie should be where it should take place or it's going to be good? So hit us up with those and we'll see you next time.
See you later. Peace.